Hi, I've got a, a simple plan open in uh, my copy of Home Designer Pro 2019. I've got three cabinets here. I'm going to go over to uh, the library browser. We'll get that sink you're trying to use. Fixtures, sinks, bathroom sinks, uh, vanity. There it is, oval under mount. Now, well, my computer's a little slow. If I try to put it in this cabinet that's too skinny, oh, <laughs> it worked. I was expecting to get an error message. <clears throat> so I don't know what's wrong with your with what you're trying to do, but I'm going to click uh, on this uh, cabinet and then hit a tab key. Now I've got the uh, sink, which I can put pretty much where wherever I want, now that it's placed, I can put it in this cabinet or that cabinet. I'm going to center that up on that cabinet. And move it back a little bit. Whoops. Okay, let's take a look at that. That's working okay. <clears throat> so it's, I don't know exactly what you're doing wrong, but it probably has something to do with the cabinets. I'm going to click and then hit the tab key. It's not working now. Oh, I better click over here where I originally placed it. Yeah, okay, see that? I clicked on this cabinet, hit the tab key, and then the sink uh, selects. So you can perhaps sometimes get some odd behavior if you do it the way I originally did it. But in camera views and in plan view, it looks fine. I'm going to click and then tab key. See nothing. Click, tab key. Now it selects. I'm going to delete it and get another one from the library browser. And just put it squarely in the middle of this one. <clears throat> See, it's fine. And then I'm going to hit the tab key, drag it to another cabinet. I'll drag it right there in the middle. And it stays. You know, kind of a goofy situation, but it stays. I click on the original home cabinet to get the sink, and then I can move it over there. Better practice is not to do this just because you can. I would delete it, get another cab sink instance, and put it in the uh, whoops, put it in the target cabinet <clears throat> rather than put it in one cabinet and then drag it elsewhere just because you can but you know see you've got a rail right through the middle of the sink in this in this case because it doesn't really fit over there click here hit the tab key sink i'm going to delete that and uh grab another one and stick it in the middle i'm going to click on that hit the tab key Move it back a little bit because these cap bathroom cabinets are commonly 21 inches deep, not 24 like kitchen cabinets. 21. So now with the, the sinks, see now the, the hardware is off, off the cabinet, see off the back. I'm going to hit click, hit the tab key, and move this a bit forward. Now I'm going to resize the sink. Make a, a little bit different shape. See? It's not cutting a, not, it, a countertop cleanly, but you can do that. I'm going to put that back a little bit. I just wanted to show you some things about cabinets and, and sink objects. <clears throat> it shouldn't have anything to do with a custom countertop. Let's go over here and create a custom countertop and drag it all the way through to the other side. Then go back to the camera. See, should be fine. The custom countertop that shouldn't have, shouldn't be a, a you know unusual coincidence, I mean, instance. But I like to get this sink, now that I moved it over here, I have to click on the parent cabinet to reselect it. In terms of why you can't place a sink, I don't have a clue. Uh, you should be able to do it unless 
Well, I, I thought that this skinny cabinet, let me just drag it over here out of the way. I didn't expect the sink to go in there at all because it's not, it's too skinny for the, you know, that's, that's a, the error message I was look, looking for is not large enough to hold a fixture appliance. That's what I was expecting. I suppose it went ahead and worked because it was next to a cabinet that was large enough. Maybe that's so. Yeah. So that was just because I had this cabinet next to that one and uh, click on that and then move this over to a cabinet that's just large enough to hold it. And of course this one, let me hit the tab, oh, excuse me, hit the tab key and I'm gonna line this one up on the next, on the next sink. Let me, let me do that again. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna undo that and put it back where it was. Tab key, there we go. Come on, there we go. Now that wind up. Okay, that's about all I can tell you. Uh, I'd have to have a copy of your plan to figure out exactly why you can't place a sink where you want to. But you see me demonstrate what's the usual behavior. And if, if you want a better answer than that, post a copy of your plan. And uh, like Eric said, it's a good idea to add to your forum signature uh, what software you have. So whenever you say a question, that data is right there to help to help people help you. We're not we're not being picky. It's just a fact that things go better on the forum if you have what software you have, and actually a little bit about your computer also helps. In some cases, what kind of video card and what kind of, you have a Mac or a PC and how much RAM do you have? Sometimes those factor into a te technical question. Okay, enough for the sermon. Hope this helps you. Have a good day.